Soon people in Austin may be able to check out public library books without having to worry about what happens if you turn them in late. Today, Austin City Council could vote to get rid of overdue fines. Yeah, this sounds like it could be a huge relief. KXAN's Candy Rodriguez is in the newsroom. So, Candy, if they do get rid of these fees, does that mean that the library is going to have less money and can't buy as many books? The answer, short answer, no. And that's because library leaders tell me if the change is approved by city council, this will not impact their ability to do things like that, like get new books, materials, and laptops. That's because overdue book fines currently don't go directly back to the library. Instead, that money goes to the city, which is used to help all city departments. In the last four years, overdue fees racked up a little more than half a million dollars, with 2018 accounting for about 60% of that. During the pandemic, those fees did drop a little bit. They dropped uh, significantly if you're talking about 2018, but for 2020 and last year combined, it was a total of around $60,000. Now, recent data shows those who have stopped charging late fees notice a spike in people returning books. One woman I spoke with says she hopes the change becomes a reality as she remembers the time her mom got a big bill. I think it would be very helpful, especially for single moms. Um, been in that situation, my mom, actually one time she did have one for like $300. <laughs> and she was just like, you know what, we're not doing this anymore. If you get the option of paying your light bill or your water bill or providing a meal for someone, for your children, um, they're going to choose to do that over paying a fine. And what we don't want is for those individuals to stop using our library services. Yeah, and $300 is a lot of money. But keep this in mind, even if council approves to get rid of those fees, visitors will remain responsible for those checked out books or whatever they end up checking out those items, whether that be a laptop. So that means they will have to pay for them if lost. Tom? Yeah, this really sounds like it could be a win-win. Thank you, Candy. Taking a closer look here, Austin will be in good company if it makes this change. 368 libraries across the country have already done it. In Texas, that includes San Antonio, Dallas, Fort Worth, and Georgetown. All among those no longer collecting those late fees.